I bet you've heard of sherry before, something sickly and sweet. Maybe your grandma drinks it at Christmas. But this sickly sweet wine is only scratching the surface of this very complex wine. I'm Kyra, and I'm in charge of creating new experiences with Devour Tours. And I also happen to be a wine lover. And I'm here today at this bar, Las Teresas, which is one of the oldest bars in Seville, to tell you all about the world of this complex and interesting wine. But what exactly is sherry? Sherry is a fortified wine, and to be called sherry, you have to be made exclusively in what we call the Sherry Triangle, which is just south from here in Seville, and it's made up of three different places, Jerez, San Luca de Barameda, and El Puerto de Santa Maria. And it's in this area we produce this whole spectrum of unique and different wines, not just the sweet ones like you might have heard of. So the first wine we have here is a Manzanilla. And Manzanilla is not only the driest sherry wine of them all, it's one of the driest wines in the world. And what's unique about this wine is during the aging process, a layer of yeast grows over the top of the wine. In Spanish, we call this flor. And it's because of this layer of yeast that the air cannot touch the wine while it's oxidizing. As the result, it's a very dry, very nutty wine with a very unique flavor. And next wine we have here today is a Monteado. And Amontillado has gone through two different aging processes. It's been through the first process, the same as the Manzanilla, with that layer of yeast growing over the top. But then for the remainder of the years, it ages without that layer of yeast. So it has continual contact with the air, which means it takes a lot of flavors from the barrel. And you'll even see in the color that it, it's quite dark for what would normally be a white wine. So the last wine we have today is Oloroso. So Oloroso has been through just one type of aging, which is with no yeast at all. It's only been in contact with the air. So again, the flavor profile is different. And you can find Olorosos that are more sweet, or you can find Olorosos that are more dry. So I hope you've enjoyed a little introduction to the world of Spain's oldest wine. And if you like the video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And if you want some more tips for traveling in Spain, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you do find yourself in Seville, make sure you join us on one of our food and wine tours and learn all about the world of sherry wines and other wines too. More details in the link below. Don't just visit Spain, devour it.